Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video because I have my first Diamond Art Club purchases of the year to share with you guys. Now, I have two separate orders, but I broke them up because I had two Puffy Gators that I wanted to share, and then I'll have two more that I'll share. I don't know if it'll be next week or the week after, but I wanted to share these Puffy Gators because I'm very excited about them, and they are new releases. They came out the past two weekends. We've gotten a Puffy Gator, and the second one that I have to share is very exciting. So let's go ahead and get into it. I can't believe that this is my first purchase from Diamond Art Club of the year. <laughs> I feel like I'm like very focused on that no buy that I completed, but I'm just very proud of it. But anyway, um, our first kit is called Daylight. It is a round drill and it is, let's see what size is it, a 42.6 by 50.7. Here is the box. I thought this one was so cute. When this one was previewed, I was like, okay, here's my, here's my Diamond Art Club purchase. Um, I purchased this one as well as another new release from that weekend, but that's in the other video that I will be sharing. And I feel so out of whack with Diamond Art Club. I'm like, what, what do, how do I do this again? What, what comes in these boxes? So we have our toolkit. What do we have? Any changes? I really haven't been watching Diamond Art Club unboxings. Oh my God, that's such a cute binder. So we have an orange pen, which I just don't have enough hands to get that out. There's also a thin four placer and a thin seven placer in there. We have some baggies, an orange squishy. We have a white tray with a stopper, a little heart-shaped caddy with some wax in it. And then for the washi tape, we have this really pretty floral. It's like pink with blue flowers. And then look at this little cover binder. Isn't that so stinking cute? <laughs> I think that's so adorable. And also in the box, we had a little pamphlet with some QR codes that you can scan. I believe there's a coupon code here somewhere in this little pamphlet. And it's just step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint. The links take you to a, I think one takes you to the app, one takes you to the VIP group, if I'm not mistaken, and all that fun stuff. We also have a small sticker. I put this on the bottom of my box. And then we have the large sticker with the pre-cut labels for your containers. Isn't that artwork just so pretty? I love it. I think it's gorgeous. There are 51 colors. This kit has two ABs and one special drill. I don't know. So on the legend, it's showing as Z3865. I have not purchased since Diamond Art Club started offering those other special drills. I think one of them's like a pearlescent. I think another one's like a glitter or something. I, I'm not quite sure. We're going to find out together. I did go ahead and cut it out of the package, but I didn't actually investigate. So we're going to do that together. But as far as our other drills, here is our color palette. Lots of pretty blues. We have some yellows, greens, some purples in there. Really pretty, pretty colors. I'm trying to decide, like, is this going to be more on the pastel side or is it going to be brighter? I'm, I'm leaning towards more pastel-y by looking at these drills. I haven't seen anyone complete this yet, um, but it is a new release. It came out not this previous Saturday, but the one before that. As far as our special drills, for 80s, we have 106 and 125. And I will tell you where these are located on the canvas in a second. Sorry about my nails. <laughs> and then this is that Z3865. And it, I, is that glitter? I'm not quite sure. It's like... Maybe this is the one they call the fairy dust. If you know, let me know down in the comments. It's really pretty. I think it's going to be beautiful on this canvas, but I don't know. Do they only offer it in this color? <laughs> if you know, fill me in. 
All right, as far as where these are located on the canvas, hopefully I'm not going too quickly. I'm trying to get this video filmed before Steven gets home from work, so I apologize for that. But our first AB is 106. And I found this one in the fur of the, what is this? What are we calling this? Is this a fox, I guess? Is it a kitsune? I don't quite know. Um, so this is symbol number one on the canvas. And I did find this like highlighting some of the lighter areas on the face. So kind of under the eyelashes there and also kind of scattered around the fur. Um, I think it outlines quite a bit of the fox. Yeah, from what I can see from where I am. Um, it kind of highlights the outside, which I think is really pretty. Um, I think that this is a really pretty AB to have in that area. I think this is an underrated one, to be honest with you. It's got that like pale yellow, like nude type of color. I don't know. It's a really pretty AB. I wish that Diamond Art Club used it more. And then our second AB is 125, which is one of my favorites. It kind of has that like minty under color. It's like a, looks like a white with just leans a little bit mint. It's really pretty. And this one I found in parts of the moon up here, as well as in some of these lighter areas of the sky. I don't think I saw any throughout the fur, but definitely in that little spot there and then over here as well. And then the, whatever we're calling this drill, <laughs> I found that one in the sky. Is that the, which symbol is that? Yeah, so in these white areas right here on the sky. And I think there are also some up in the moon as well as some of these white patches like right there on the fur and I think up in that area. So I think this is gonna be really pretty. I am interested, if you guys have any info on this special drill, please let me know. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm so out of the loop, so I don't know what it's called and I don't know if they have other colors of this type of special drill. So if you know, let me know, share with us in the comments. Okay, the next kit is very exciting because this is the first kit that Diamond Art Club has offered the choice of round and square drills. So it is called Twilight Vibes. It is a round drill. Well, I selected it in round. You could get it in round or square. And it's a 42.6 by 58.8 centimeter in the round size. I believe it's a little smaller if you ordered it in squares, but isn't that so cute? Oh, I love, I love puppy gear. <laughs> I don't want this to like come across poorly, but I recently did an unboxing of puppy gear from another shop that they are legally licensed through. Both of these companies are legally li licensed with this artist, but the Diamond Art Club experience of unboxing it has been so much more pleasant than the other <laughs> the other Puffy Gator unboxing that I did. So I love the artwork so much that when it doesn't go smoothly, I get very disappointed. <laughs> so I'm happy to report that. Oh my gosh, this cover minded. Okay. So toolkit is the same except for the washi tape and the cover minder. We have another floral, which is actually really pretty. It's kind of sunflower-ish vibes. Look at this cover minder. First of all, it looks like Piglet. Why does that look like Piglet to me? I feel like it's supposed to be a bunny, which would have been perfect for Easter, but it kind of looks like Piglet. So, <laughs> super cute though. We have our little sticker here. And then this kit has 59 colors with four ABs. So there's a little bit clearer picture of the artwork. I can't believe this little kit has 59 colors. 
So we have the four ABs. There are some different symbols going on here. I don't know that I've ever seen that arrow. Got the bacon. <laughs> cool. I'm just looking to make sure there's nothing that I would find confusing. I don't think so. Generally with Diamond Art Club, I don't have that problem. Um, the only time that I get a little iffy is when they do the triangles in the corner. It's like this one. Sometimes you have each triangle in all of the corners and in a similar color, but it doesn't look like that is the case here. So that is exciting. Here is our color palette. Let me make sure I have all of the ABs. Now this color palette is a little bit brighter, but super pretty. We have lots of pinks. Look at that pink. I think I worked on this with this color in another Diamond Art Club kit and I absolutely loved it. Purples and some yellows, really pretty colors. For our ABs, we have 128, which is a pale pink, 129, which is a yellow, 135, which is like a chartreuse color, and 141, which is white. Not a lot. I wish I saw some more white ABs in this bag, but that's okay. Now, where do these go? So 128, which is this pink color. I found that in the little tiger cub's ears, and I also found some around the whisker area. Now I could have missed some spots because now that I'm looking at this bag, it just looks like there are more. I did a quick um, peek at this canvas just to see where the ABs go. So I may have missed some spots, but that is where I saw them with just my quick glance. I do see some down here in this little pink area next to that, I don't know, kind of looks like a leaf to me. Um, I do see some over on this side as well. So I'm gonna guess there's some in the sky as well as some on the little cub. 129 is this yellow color. And I saw this outlining the cub, kind of where that like light halo type of effect is. And I also saw some in the sky where you see these little yellow, they look like feathers, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> so it looks like to me. 135 is this chartreuse color. And I saw that in these kind of lime green areas. So not very many, but I think that that'll look pretty. I don't mind this AB if it's done right. So we'll have to see how that comes out. And then 141, which is the white AB. I only saw it in the whiskers. So you can see the little whiskers there and there's some over here. That is where I found the 141. Uh, as far as changes that I may make to these kits, let me bring this other one back in frame. Sorry for my head. I think that I might like to add some EBs to this kit in particular. I think I would like to pull out some of the rainbow colors in this one. Maybe just pick an AB that's close and sprinkle them in. I just think that that would look really pretty. I also think that these pink areas that are kind of in the fur might look cute with an AB. I don't know. I'd have to mess around with that. I think I would be more drawn to doing something with the rainbow colors down here. As far as that other kit, I don't know that I would want to add anything. I think with the four ABs, I feel like that that is enough. Um, but who knows, you guys know I like to just <laughs> add in special drills wherever. I'm also really intrigued by this new drill that I've never worked with, this one here that came with this kit. I don't know, I'm, I'm very intrigued. It looks really pretty. If you have seen anyone complete this and they've posted a picture like on Instagram or something, 
um, please let me know because I'm, I'd be really interested to see what this looks like. Or if you've worked on a different kit that might have this drill. I don't know. I'm very intrigued. It looks really pretty. I kind of want to put some in a, in a tray so I can look at them up close. But I will do that off camera. So those are the two kits that I have from Puffy Gator. I can't believe I just unboxed Diamond Art Club again. <laughs> it feels like it's been so long. I think the last Diamond Art Clubs I unboxed on my channel were the two that I got for Christmas. And I think the rest have been other companies. So yay for the note buy being over, but also boo for Diamond Art Club starting to release kits that I want again. <laughs> I am trying to collect all of the Puffy Gator kits that come out from Diamond Art Club. I'm missing a few. Uh, I've also done a couple of them from a different company, so I don't know if I'm going to pick them up from Diamond Art Club as well. The one that comes to mind is Halloween Kitty, which sold out back in October. I didn't even get a chance to purchase that one. Um, I have completed that from a different company, so I don't know if I'm going to buy that one, but um, there are a couple that came out during my no-buy that I will definitely be getting my hands on once they come back in stock. And yeah, I don't know. I like... I personally have not finished a Puffy Gator from Diamond Art Club, but I have seen others and I like how Diamond Art Club has been rendering them. So I think, I don't know, I think I, I think I'm going to enjoy working on them from this particular company. And it seems like Diamond Art Club has been rendering them or has been able to render them in a smaller size, which is really nice. It's really nice to have the option of working on a smaller sized kit from a company like Diamond Art Club and from an artist that I really enjoy. So hopefully you will see one, maybe both of these kits completed by the end of this year. We shall see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know if you picked up any of these kits or if you plan on picking up any kits from Puffy Gator and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!